All right, welcome to the course. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll be your instructor today. In this course, we're gonna build a cool little to-do app with Ruby on Rails. So in this video, I just wanna spend a couple of minutes talking about a few things that we're gonna need in order to get started. And we'll talk a little bit about setting up our development tools. So if you've ever installed and tried to run Ruby on Rails, especially the first few times, you'll have discovered that it's pretty tricky to do. It's a lot easier on a Linux or a Mac computer, but Windows, it's really kind of tricky and it can be a pain. So if you're comfortable doing that, you can absolutely feel free to do that and follow along that way in this course. In this course, I'm going to use an online cloud development environment called Cloud9. It's at c9.io. We'll talk about that in just a second. But like I said, if you're already familiar with installing Rails, you can just go to Google and type in Ruby on Rails go to the Rails website, download the version, the latest version for whatever computer you're on, and you can use all the tools that you would normally use. And like I said, we're gonna be using this Cloud9 development environment, and this is what it looks like. It's gonna have all of our files here. We'll have a little terminal here, and then the text editor is here in the middle, and pretty cool. So check this out, go to c9.io, but if you do, you'll see this AWS Cloud9 thing. And what happens is, I've been using Cloud9 for years and years and years. It was a great tool. Then Amazon.com bought the company and they let it go for a couple of years and just left it the way it was. But then recently they just announced that they folded it into their AWS service. And AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. If you're familiar with that, it's their big cloud thing. And I do not recommend that you use this, right? We're gonna use a different version for this course. Now, I mean, five or 6,000 people are gonna watch this video and I'm gonna get at least 100 emails saying, I can't figure out how to use this AWS Cloud9 thing. So let me say it again, do not use this Amazon AWS Cloud9 thing. It costs money, it's very complicated, it's just a pain, I don't recommend using it. Like I said, we're gonna use the old version, it's totally free, but to use the old version of Cloud9, you have to sign up through an education account. And unfortunately, education accounts are invitation only. I don't know why they do that. I have no idea Amazon bought this company, changed everything around. So if you're interested in doing that, head over to c9invitations.com, fill out the form, and Cloud9 will send you an invitation. And there'll be a link in it that you can click on that goes straight to Cloud9 and lets you sign up under an education account. Now, once you do sign up, some people have told me that there's an error message they get, something about teams with too many members on them or something like that. I'm not sure what it's all about, but apparently if you log back out and log back in, the error goes away. So that's how to use Cloud9, totally free. So if you wanna follow along and use the same development environment that I do throughout this course, that's how you do it. Absolutely do not feel that you have to do that. If you already know how to install Ruby on Rails on your computer, absolutely feel free to do that. You don't have to follow along. I'm just using this tool because it's a way for us to use a common tool, it makes learning a little bit easier if you, if you need that. So in the next video, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna set up our development environment and uh, get started.